Hi guys, welcome to Happiest Places Home. I'm at Target today. I wanna to take you inside and we'll explore some of the new items. I do have my eye on a few. I also have a few old standbys that I wanna show you. Let's get in there and explore and then we'll figure out what our favorites are. On this shopping trip to Target, I decided to make a beeline to the home section knowing that I was bringing you with me. But I also love Target for uh, food and grocery shopping. But I'm taking you to the Magnolia section and then also the McGee and Company section. Uh, so the both of these items by these designers are actually mixed together in this particular store. I think they must not have had a, a large area built for this purpose. It might be an older store. But anyway, I'm just running across the back of the store because that's where they had everything. And there are things kind of just everywhere. But I I dug and I think I did a great job finding dupes for you. And I also have a bunch of things that I just wanted to show you that I thought were so beautiful. And the dupes are in the beginning, those favorite items are at the end of this video. And then we'll discuss some paint colors as we always do. Links for the Pottery Barn and the dupes at Target and the other things I found are all in the description box. When I visited the store, I thought it would be a good idea to test out the furniture. It's one thing to show you dupes, but I really think it's important to test them. And all three chairs that I'm going to show you in this video were very comfortable, and this one was in particular. This is branded as Threshold, but not with either of those two designers, even though it was in that section. It's called the Two Feld. Obviously, this is more of an accent chair, and you might not think that it would be that comfortable, but it really was. It's $210, and I thought it was a really good dupe for something at Pottery Barn. Take a look at this Cody chair. So this is $12.99 compared to that $210. They do look very similar, I hope you agree, uh, but the Pottery Barn gives you a little more width. I think depending on the size of your width and how comfortable you are having your arms up on the chair, maybe close to your body or further would be the deciding factor. But I do think the, this is a great dupe and a good um, example of how you can find things that are of beautiful style but wonderful price at Target. Take a look at this camel colored window pane uh, knit throw by Threshold. This one is with Studio McGee. So, uh, this one is a perfect dupe for a Pottery Barn uh, version that we had in a living room dupe video a little while back. It was a pretty popular video. I'm just gonna show you the uh, thumbnail for it right here. And there is the window pane throw. Well, we couldn't find one that was an exact dupe at the time for this beautiful blanket. It's the chenille window pane throw at Pottery Barn, but now we have, and this is almost identical. So our Target Studio McGee version is $35. Compare that to $99 at Pottery Barn. They really are virtually the same look. Whether they would last as long or not, I couldn't tell you, but to save a little money for something that you think is currently in fashion, but I would believe that this would stand the test of time. It looks very classic as well. This fall grass wheat wreath that I saw in Target for $30 by Studio McGee really could use some fluffing there in the store, but I could see where they wouldn't take the time to do that. But you can see it fluffed up in this photo. This compares really nicely to this Pottery Barn wreath. So the Pottery Barn version is $89. So you're saving $59 to get virtually the same thing. Now just around the corner in the store, I ended up spotting a magnolia wreath. I love magnolia leaves and the way that they look on wreaths. Martha Stewart had one years ago and I just loved it. She made it herself and showed you how to. <laughs> but anyway, with this one, I just love the coloring because it has the green and the gold. So it's like the, the leaves are just about to turn. Um, but Pottery Barn has two versions and the uh, Target one is like a mixture of the best of both worlds of those two. So Pottery Barn is $169 for the browner Magnolia wreath and then $269 for the green version. I like the combo of the two colors and I love the $100 price. And I just think this is a beautiful pick if you wanted to put a wreath uh, on for fall. 
I spotted the ceramic link bowl at Target and it's only $40. I feel like actually that might be a little bit much for the bowl, but on the other hand, Pottery Barn has one for $129. Now this is the Mesa handcrafted bowl. This is something that I featured in a prior video and mentioned that it was out of stock, but it was the green one. Well, the green one is back in stock and I love this one even better. So between the two, I might pick the uh, Pottery Barn, but also they're both beautiful. Um, but I just wanted to point out that the Target one has a little bit more of a modern look. It's just the fact that they have the handles on the side that makes it a similar look. So let's just call this one um, Get the Look for Less rather than Dupe. I spotted these leather uh, links by Studio McGee and Target and they remind me of a rattan version that Pottery Barn had in the summer. I like the fall update of the leather. I thought it was really pretty. You can style it on top of a book or on a coffee table in maybe a tray, um, but just a really beautiful color on that leather. Those are $20 and the rattan version back in the summer at Pottery Barn was $149. So it seems like a decent price for something if you really like it. I spotted this Studio McGee aged looking vessel and I really thought it was beautiful, very substantial. Uh, it says 25 there, but that would have been for something else that probably was there before because it's actually $50. I thought that was a gorgeous dupe for this artisan handcrafted terracotta vase. It's $349 at Pottery Barn. That one, by the way, is 25 inches tall, which is quite similar. This one's a little bit shorter, but you could get the same impact for a much lower price. And I just really think this is a nice piece. Candles in bowls are so much fun right now, and I really like the color of this bowl. It almost looks like a dark green that's a little bit blackened. Um, that's kind of how it's described here, but the scent was a pumpkin. Um, but I just wanted to show you a comparison. So Pottery Barn for the holidays has these gorgeous bowl uh, candles coming out. And they have three versions that you see there and they're all $99. Those are beautiful. I wouldn't hold back on those if you really like them, but just to show you that this one has the similar kind of look and vibe of it for $20. What pretty fall colors on these chunky knit throws at Target. So I was exploring the different colors. The one that I picked up first was black. Um, and I think that this one may, was probably there more so for Halloween, but also for those homes similar to mine that have a lot of black, matte black in the decor. But anyway, um, obviously for your home, you wanna try to stick with one color palette or, or with your color palette. And for me, I'm trying to incorporate green. So that's what I went with, even though I love the rust, just everything here is so pretty. So let's compare those blankets, which are $35 to the Colossal Knit Throw at Pottery Barn, which is ever so popular. And that is 179. So a fantastic savings. Now I took a look at these velvet pillows above. These are Target's cotton velvet throw pillows and they're $20 each. It is nice that it comes filled um, and you could always put a different pillow cover on that at another time. But I love these colors and obviously I selected the olive there. But there are a lot of stores that carry velvet pillows, of course, but Pottery Barn has one and it's the cover for $49.50. So I thought this was probably uh, a more optimal choice. One of the reasons I went on this Target run is I was actually in search of this olive knit pillow. Uh, so it's this pumpkin with the jute and uh, it's $25. So I just thought, you know, compare that to a similar look uh, and style at Pottery Barn, but there's his velvet. You're saving $34.50 by getting this cotton knit pillow at Target and I actually prefer that. I feel like it looks a little bit more organic and just something I'm a little bit more into right now. It would also match the blanket that I purchased. <laughs> The Threshold Magnolia brand also has a camel blanket. This one is gorgeous and so classic with the cable knit and the nice little uh, tassel on the side makes it fun. So that one is $44.99. 
it reminds me a lot of the colossal cable knit throw at Pottery Barn. And depending on the color, you're at 107 to 179. And I do love this Magnolia version. There wasn't a huge selection of lamps at Target table lamps, but I fell in love with this one and the cream that I just showed. Uh, but the matte black, I decided to play around with in the store and show you what it looked like with a lampshade that they were offering there. I ended up finding one online that I liked better to go with it, but I thought it would be a fun little exercise to try it out. I do like that in Target, they sell them separately. If you're not going to explore, it sometimes can be difficult and it's easier to buy like a $50 or more uh, lamp at Home Goods that comes all as one. I like the conical look better on the Pottery Burn version of this. It's the Canyon and it comes in at $249, but I think that you can find one that's not quite as conical, um, but it's this linen lampshade that I'm showing you here. So compare the Target combo of $62 when you add the $42 and the $20 to the Canyon lamp of $249, a great savings for, for such a similar look. This olive green ribbed vase by Magnolia is like the big sister to that candle you all know that I bought. I'll insert a video of it right here. Now, um, by the way, they were not available in this store any longer. So this is $29.99, it's rather large, and it does compare to a Pottery Barn version for $279. The green is a little more emerald at Pottery Barn and maybe is not a dupe, but just to show you that you are getting a very good value for the vase. I found some really fun things at Target that weren't dupes, but I thought you really needed to see them because they were just so great. So let's get into it. And I will call this particular section Mad About Plaid because there's so many fun plaid things in the Magnolia section and I just could not get over it. So here we go. In this Magnolia display, they have several items for fall camping that involve plaid and beautiful colors. And I fell in love with this bowl set. So this is, you know, the serving bowl. You could use it for salads or actually a green salad and it has bowls and plates. I love the plaid so much. This is $39.99. I actually picture my mother's famous uh, potato salad recipe in this one as opposed to the greens. Now there's also a small platter serving set to go along with this that matches it. It's $19.99 for these pieces right here. Oh, so cute. So I thought this was a good combo, of course, with this sleeping bag and the retro radio. They also have that pretty pillow. That seems too nice to take on a camping trip, but it matches the whole set and I really like it. So it's $19.99. The burgundy is just so pretty with those other colors. What a coordinated effort of plaid by Magnolia. But look at this gorgeousness, this retro radio. This just tugs at my heartstrings because I my career began in radio and I just love that um, they're supporting that with this item. So it's $44.99 and it is just so cute. I suppose it would be cute to listen to for fall football games or something. And I think you can use the sleeping bag here also as a picnic blanket that would give you some insulation from the ground and that's $79.99. It looks like you could unzipper it and just use it as the picnic blanket. But look what you could put it in, this uh, little wagon. And those I think are hard to find in the store. They didn't have one in my store, but what a cute item. Now in that section, they have this adorable coffee pour over. It's $24.99 and I just have never seen anything like this. It is so adorable. I'm not a fan of the flavor of a pour over, but if I was on a camping trip or at someone's home and they didn't have a coffee maker, um, I'd be just fine with that because it's in something so beautiful. 
Burlwood is very in fashion with furniture design. And if you don't want to invest in a large piece of furniture with a type of wood that's so trendy right now, it might go out of style. This wood tray from Target designed with Studio McGee might be just the trick. It's only $35 and could have that Burlwood impact that you're looking for in your design. This hearth and hand doorstop might be the most beautiful one I've ever seen. It's $14.99 and I think it's well worth it for something that would probably last you a lifetime. I think this just has a bit of an equestrian look and just so beautiful. And the next item is along the same vein. The Threshold Entryway Organizer has hooks at the bottom and it's only $24. This would be a great way to store away pieces of mail and just to have a few things hanging like keys or a dog leash at the door. I was looking forward to testing out the comfort of this chair by Studio McGee. So this is called the Bellfield. It's $270 and is considered more of an accent chair, but I can assure you it is very comfortable, especially using the ottoman. So I think the color is gorgeous. There is also another kind of somewhere between a tan and a brown color. Uh, but I think this olive green is very beautiful and a pretty good value for a nice chair. I also tested out for you the Geblin Faux Leather Chair. Um, this is comfortable enough. It's just that I like a chair that has arms. It's a lot more comfortable for me. And the ottoman is very cute. Next, I'm showing you three items that I would highly recommend. And we'll start with these room darkening curtain rods. Mine were the brand uh, Project 62, but these looks very similar. I think there might be a Project 62 one there, but these are a wonderful value. So uh, it's 30 to $40, depending on the size. They're very strong and they don't kind of drape in the middle from weight, they're perfect. Well. Pottery Barn has something very similar and theirs is between $94 and $104 just for comparison to see what a wonderful deal you're, you're getting. And I just think that they work out really well. They do help keep the room dark, but I bought them because I just thought it had a really nice modern look as well. Here's one that I cannot recommend enough. So I bought these for my king size bed, but I got two twin size and I roll them up and make them into, you know, a bolster pillow when I make the bed. But when we're just hanging out in the bedroom, not ready to go to bed and watching TV, we'll unroll them and just kind of relax comfortably with them. And they're just so soft. I wash them every single week and they just have come out so beautifully and they stay bright, bright white. They're just gorgeous. You're gonna think I really cheaped out on this one, but I recommend these towels by Room Essentials. They're only $4.50 each. I bought a different design. Mine was the black and white cabana stripe look, and I wash them every week. They are super soft. The black in the design has not faded whatsoever. Sometimes you get a few little pools of string here and there, but I just prefer them to my more expensive towels. I just like the size and the soft, soft feel of those. So highly recommended. And if you have holiday company coming, you know, these are nice to just stack on the bed when they walk in with the washcloth. And I always like to put um, a silk eye mask on with mine and a hair towel as well and it seems like my guests really do appreciate that. As I compare two items in my videos I'm also featuring two different paint colors and I wanted to explore those with you right now. So the first one is the Manchester Tan. This is by Benjamin Moore. It does not reflect a lot of light um, and I wanted to show you it in different lighting. So this would be the lighting in bright morning sun if you have that in the room. And then this is what it looks like with afternoon sun. The other side is this gorgeous Sussex green by Benjamin Moore. This also does not reflect a lot of light. Um, it's such a gorgeous green. It has a little bit of charcoal in it. And this is the way it looks typically, but as you change the light to morning light, as you can see, it doesn't change it that much. And then a soft yellowy glow in the afternoon sun is actually just making it look a little bit darker. But if that's the look that you want, this is an ideal way to do it. So you're not all of a sudden having a bright green or something or other. 
I have had an overwhelmingly positive response to the Crate and Barrel Holiday Lookbook. And next weekend, my video will feature a Pottery Barn Holiday Lookbook. They do holidays so well, and I just love the things that they're featuring. I'm taking a peek at some sneak peeks of it, but I'm going to show you all of the details in the video next week. So please tune in for that. I really look forward to the holiday season, and I hope you do too. Um, you might think it's a little early, but I just love dreaming of the holidays all year round. But I waited pr as long as I possibly could until now to start featuring it. So thank you so much for watching my channel, Happiest Places Home, the interior design channel. And if you could take a moment to comment to let me know what you think of the dupes, the comparison, some of my favorite items in this video. And if you see comments from other people in the video and you think somehow you could help them out with advice, please do. We're a community of people who love interior design.